Date. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm. Just now, the killer. Well, just watch. I sent the address to I. Well, it's a video this time, not a stream. Nope. It's the same, isn't it? How different is this gonna be? Iris. Is this just a video or is this a stream again? Because she said video. Nope, it's live streaming video. Again. Am I gonna have to censor this again? No, that's. The criminal is streaming this live. I'm the source. Identify the Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site. Yes, but how far away is it this time? Because last time it was 20 minutes. She didn't say it was 20 minutes away, or that we were far away this time. Will we actually get there on time? Is this the difference? I kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream. But I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. And then a short bridge. A squat one. One that was upside down. Shortly after, the image changed. Polar bear? Polar bear! Sick bastard! Bears would never do this! Bears are too nice! I like bears, they're cool. Sonic! Let's not talk about him for now. Is this playing out the exact same way? Are we gonna have to deal with this exact same scene twice, or is this gonna be different in the way of us stopping someone dying? Away from Tessa! Uh! Date, we've almost reached the destination. Please, okay, we're please almost there. Make it time. So this time we're almost there. Last time we were way too far away. Ooh, and we're here. 317. We're making it somehow at the same exact timing as the last Oh, yep, here's him being stabbed, so that wasn't the fatal wound. You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. You hit me with a pan Help or tase me, or in general, attack me again. This time I promise you will die. Again. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. Alright, I'm on it. Luckily, Ota can barely move, so I don't have to be worried that he'll try anything stupid. Stupid-er. Monday, 9.34 a.m. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. And the bear was moving pretty slowly. About Iris and Ota. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed because the optic nerve is connected well, to the Well, I didn't brain. think it was going to be peacefully removed by a serial killer. Complete. Has CSI found anything at the warehouse? It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. 
About so. So, Sejima? He was in Iris Asomnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why I'm still confused about, about so with boobs. So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. <clears throat> I mean, the outfit looks familiar. But whose outfit was it? It's not mine. The only person I can think of is Murder Victim 4. That's the only person I can think of is that looks like Murder Victim's 4. Murder Victim 4's outfit. Have you contacted Hitomi and Mayumi? Of course. Hitomi's at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for- She deserves to go to prison. Date. Last night, Mayumi- Perhaps she knows something- Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. If she even talks to us. You should ask Aiba about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by Rinju's father, Create. Yep, yeah, we know this. Another connection to- No. Nope, it was given Currently, to someone else. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past- Renju holds no sh In short, Renju did not inherit the company. Yep. So it's a coincidence the co Exactly. They're giving statements exactly at HQ same. right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the- Oh, speaking of. Hey boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had she took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. Okay. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you after leaving her alone with Mama. I mean. Yeah, not surprising. All right, I boss. Should, I should go investigate. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Ma. Let's go get this over with. Awkwardness out of the way. As always, they have. Oh no! Interesting. Usually, when they show the car, I kind of thought they'd talk. Hey Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. I know you can talk this time. You're just mad. Listen, I get it. About time I can say something. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang, the Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that's awfully sexist of you. They pulled this guns is why on me. thinks you're attractive. I'm attracted. Uh huh. Keep telling yourself that. That's why <laughs> you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. You know, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? About Okiara, Okiara Fishery. Okiara Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. What kind of person was your Grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Huh? By the time he was 10, really? he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. Interesting. That can't be true, but there's part of me that's thinking, maybe. After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. I'd believe her her grandpa was an incredible man. 
about Ota and Iris. I saw the video. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Ota's out of intensive care. Iris is... But I know she'll be okay. Iris's surgery will definitely be a success. You stay positive, even if there's no reason to be. It's one of your good qualities, Dot. What? I, have I no believe choice. it. Iris is going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. Where's the officer who dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I really? thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big <laughs> boobs, too. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. Oh my god. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? Jesus. I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you. No. Why? I can't involve you. This... It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Speaking of, let me see something. I think she is lifting 55 pounds right now. Honestly, I wouldn't even be able to do that. I'm not kidding. I am not ashamed about how weak I am. I am a weak, weak man. Even with working out. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. I'll kill I them. I mad and I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. <laughs> Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this fight, problem herself. Fight. Oh. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. <laughs> what? I'm going to teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. <laughs> I love their relationship. Why the shrine? So fun. The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Drugs. Anime, drugs, Date, are and then you playing more a character drugs. or something? I'm no, not I Date. While we're in training, I... I am Master. Actually, I do want to hear him say that because it's funny. I'm not Date. While we're in <laughs> training, I am Master. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Date, are you playing a character? Sorry. I just like being able to replay voice lines. It's fun to me. The key to victory is to kill the heart. No. Um, being quick to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know? Um, don't. That is a respectable answer. But no. <laughs> the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kinda get it, but... Of course. I'm not... S but thinking about this will make a big... Yeah. Oh. Seriously, <laughs> Date? Not Date. Your everyday life is of dire importance. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has begun the moment I Jesus. put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no. That's <laughs> What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be diet and exercise. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. That one's kind of cool. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? Hark. The blowing of the... <laughs> You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. The key to victory like, is to kill the heart. when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? Yes. No, it's Avengers. the opposite. 
You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress oh, no. any mercy or like emotional that. attachment. If you have even a moat of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. Well, I understand Just the a punching bag. I understand the context of fighting. Huh. I don't I don't recommend suppressing. Anyway, it's not practice good for these you. four it's truths. Really not. And you I will don't get like stronger. It. This sounds like a scam. <sighs> Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? And how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? Uh, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Hopefully. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward! Hey! Jesus! Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Who is this child? How is that? Um. You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Hey, Even by I was the way, like, did you uh... swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. That's funny. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike <laughs> your master. That's funny. I just like the fact that he had to clarify, but never yeah, hit me. You're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. That's not fair. Bring I'm Dad. sorry. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. Really? Yeah. Yes. Promise? I yes. promise. Let's go, Lila. Where to? Let's go. Let's go to the diner and deal with the crazy lady. Just to get it over with. I really don't like her much. She needs a lot of redeeming. Um, uh, who might you be? Really? Uh, oh, I suppose- At least something a little more than flashing your- My name is Kaname Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? About last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. Yeah, we literally know it can't be. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, uh, well... I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere Sorry. last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of dream? It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me, and he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry Does her shirt about. say hipster? I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Uh-huh. <sighs> he was so cute. I 
<clears throat> Fred. Fred. About that photo. Oh, this? As Naomi spoke, she turned the photo this toward me. Photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to forget it again. <sighs> I'm a horrible Who is that guy? I can't make sense of his face. How long has she had this hipster shirt? So they gave her and scarf. And a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying. He's changed his clothes, but she hasn't. That's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice, Naomi. And this time I'm not being screamed at. She's not a, she's not as bad when she's not screaming. Oh. I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita. Oh, that is just his face. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Ouch. What, what is going on here? Are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Is she alright? Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Naomi with the thermal imaging turned on? Thermo. Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Uh-oh. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Oof. Dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that sure explains it. Comments were coming from. Why are there so many people she here with really life. bad illnesses? isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Oh. Matsushita Diner is near the Kawasaki district. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed Jesus. eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then... Poor family. Naturally. Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. It is really barren in here. Uh, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Poor... Poor lady. Well, the game made me not hate her. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave. I guess they knew that it didn't really seem the best. Mayumi's in the kitchen. It looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. Jesus. Um. Let's go check on Oda himself, and Iris. Either or, we'll see. I really love being playing this again. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. Well, that's good. About your alibi. No, about Iris. She. I don't like starting off going all cold. Iris lost her left eye. 
Uh huh. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I I lost someone very important to me, Monica Eli, my best friend, one of the only friends I had. Let me guess, Psychops killer. For news from Iris' surgery, I I started thinking about Monica, and I felt like I was going to lose my mind. She was probably the um. That must have been very painful. Yeah. She's probably victim number four. If I'm gonna guess any of them, it's probably victim number four. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Because they don't just add in references to characters Ota saved Iris, like that for nothing. I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. I mean, probably would have been even better if you didn't, you know, hit me with a pan. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. About your alibi. Hitomi. I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about... Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the mm. polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? Not no. necessarily. I don't suspect her. Do you know anything else about Iris and So? So Sejima, the politician? Yes. Yeah. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Okay. Well then, thank you for your time. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Sitting next to the bed. She looks exhausted. I don't blame her. It's been through a lot. Let's go to the warehouse. Again, I guess. I mean, I guess it's probably the first time this timeline. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. Weird. Okay, they're gone. One I had sparkles in my vision for a second. I don't know why. Also, when they said two cars, for some reason my first thought was two cars sitting in five feet apart because they're not gay. I don't know why. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. Hmm. The Misto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner in was Fuchu? shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Well, that just seems like the van. poor planning. The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait. So that's uh, the van he took. But Fuchu. We have heard that word way too Ota's many times. Fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota what? got into the car and drove off. The security How? cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Wait a minute, but he was in the other car too. About ten minutes later, 
Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Station wagon Ota stole. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. So how did he drive both cars here? I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. I'm so confused now. He drove both cars because we know Iris didn't drive wow, that other. It's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. And I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, Probably. better get started. Okay. Any progress? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. I'm sorry. Aren't you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. Interesting. Me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. Can I have one? Is that their way of just not wanting to animate cold animations? <laughs> You have a family? No, unfortunately I live alone. I'm sorry. Like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. You're <laughs> buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss <laughs> later. Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. <laughs> What's your name? It's... Good one, Dante. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It has something to do with... Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. <laughs> we see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> yeah, thinking the same thing. Any clues? I knew it was him when we were in the other timeline. I was like, that's that's him. I don't remember his name. Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like You remember all that? <laughs> not my name. You still don't know. No, not yet, but I I've almost got it. Three Starts syllables. Starts with a K. Six letters. Kodaka, right? Not even close. Kagami. It's Kagami. Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. <laughs> um, is it Kaniza? <laughs> yeah, sure, man. That's my name. His name <laughs> is Kaniza. <laughs> Probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. Why June and July? That's my friend Kaniza. <laughs> that must be Odo's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is, however, I found. Okay, probably can't use this to find him this morning. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Well, yeah, we know that. Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. Nice cutting machine. It's been here a while, so it wasn't moved. This is a, the workbench Iris was laying on. I can't find any clues here. The tires here. of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. 
forklift has stopped. It looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. Forklift B. A forklift. I don't see anything special about it. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? Can't find any leads on the shelf. I asked the cop on scene, but and he said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. The shadows on the left catch my eye. Huh, Square object there. You should go pick it up. <clears throat> Cutscene. Huh. I recognize this. Nope. An Odoroki man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, Interesting. you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki man chocolate. It's kind of scary looking. Why is this here? I like Monokuma. Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. It's freezing. Date, we're at I guess that was the last thing, huh? We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Okay, cool. That's everything. Let us go to the Sejima residence. Which should be interesting. Maybe. I don't know. This isn't the other timeline. How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. Easily. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. <laughs> Where were you at 3 a.m. this morning? Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. Nobody reads what books. Happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with. I wish I could, though. Not that I can't read. I can read. No, I just don't have time. That? Show them the picture girl, of Iris I had. Recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. You've I never seen no her. Noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. About your connections with Kumakuras. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Aiba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. So is feeding the koi in the pond. Hi, man. About So's alibi. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several, but for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image Convenient. in the past few days. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. Yeah, listen to me. Okay, I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. X-ray. Ooh, gun. This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh, yeah? Ha, you need a warrant for that. <sighs> are you finished? You do have a gun, if though. you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate transitions. <sighs> Guess that's it, then. I know about your gun, though, dude. Better get rid of that thing or I will arrest you. Probably. Yum. Oop, car time. Reach HQ. Let's summarize our investigation so far. Okay. About so. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. 
The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakura. There's a common link there. Kumakuras. They have to be involved Sorry, somehow. I keep cutting them off. Force of habit. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris' Somnium? Yeah. About Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff not right. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. Not true, I got about five hours of sleep. Flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. God, now it's awkward. <laughs> I do want to take a moment to summarize what we've seen. So, in all the different timelines, we've seen Boss as a killer. We've suspected Renju of being the killer, but obviously he can't be now that we know this. But we saw him on the run from the police just the other day in another timeline and so basically we're suspicious of everyone how the heck was there was there two odas or did oda steal the one car and then drive back like walk back and then take the other car that's possible but unlikely why would he waste his time mayumi is suffering from dementia if Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume, but... She might not remember. Correct. About So. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Pistols. So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. But yeah, and we know that all of his bodyguards are wearing masks. Any other information? There is an important piece of news. <gasps> what is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Yeah. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Who's? Mayumi Matsushita's. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold Interesting. On I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. So the only prints Please. we have there are Oda, Mayumi, and the Iris? The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night, and that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. So she had to have been there. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... And that could make some sense out of the whole van thing. We're getting a call, probably from Boss, right? Or Peter. Sorry to interrupt your yep, boss. but there's a call from the Boss. Connect me. Dante, did you hear that Iris' operation is over? Yeah. I heard about it at the I hospital. I didn't. Apparently she not made it, right? Yeah, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment. Convenient. Yeah, she's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Yeah, talking to Oda. 